fire. Hey everybody, it's Boys of the Most Toys with you again with another Boys of the Most Toys reviews and this time I finally found one of these guys in Canada. We're really slow to get stuff up here when it comes to Transformers, you see a couple months behind. So this I just found yesterday, this is Generations Thundercracker from Fall of Cybertron, War of Cybertron looking. Um, we're going to crack him open and get to transformation. It looks pretty cool, I think it looks much better than the Starscream one. I think I have that one somewhere too. So. Let's pause the video, get him cracked open, and let's and see how he transforms. And we've got him out of the package. So he's very swooshable. He, uh, the paint job, very uh, Thundercracker-esque. Thundercracker, actually, when I was a kid, it was the first uh, Decepticon I got. Uh, I think it was the only Seeker that I ever had when I was a kid. And uh, so this is a little nostalgic for me. So I was very glad to see this in my local Walmart the other day, again. It is, uh, for some reason, in Canada here, everything comes three to four months after everybody gets it everywhere else, um, or in the States at least, anyway. So, sorry for it being a little late as a display, but uh, as a review, but uh, this has just come out here in Canada. I finally found one. So, transformation, of course, he's the same as the Starscream, Fall of Cybertron. You want to pop off the cannons, and you can do some stuff with that later. Um, transformation, he's kind of in between a uh, Veritech uh, fighter from Robotech. Well, that's the transformation is very similar. If you've seen my um, my Lego former of Starscream from Fall of Cybertron, you'll see that that's the transformation is very similar to this. So to transform him, you've got to rip off the bottom section, which is his legs, of course. And you want to pull out the bottom section, which becomes his feet or his toes. Okay. And then you want to spin them around like so. You want to take the whole rest of the section here. Oops, sorry. And you want to pop it down like this. So I'm going to back up the camera a bit for you guys. Um, just so we can get a bit of a better shot. Next, you want to bust apart this section. Go to the back. And you want to pull the arms out. So you just do that by folding them out like so. And then you want to fold the whole section over and down. That becomes his back. You can see he's taking shape very rapidly already. Move the arms to the position you like. And they're very poseable. I like his big forearms and fists. They're really cool. And then you just want to kind of jiggle this down like so. Push the nose into his crotch area. Tilt the head the right way. Take these little fins down a bit, and you're pretty much done here. And I'm thinking this is really, you can actually do, yeah, it's a little better like that, standing up. I'm thinking this is a really cool figure. And you've got lots of articulation here for cool posing. He's got light piping on his head. You can see his beady little eyes. And of course you have the cannons. So the cannons can fit together, as same as Starscream, into one big gun, but, um, you can do it that way. You can peg it on so many places. You can peg it on one arm, or you could break it up into uh, two, two, two cannons again and put on each arm. So all in all, this is a really cool figure. Again, I'm a little partial to this figure because uh, Thundercracker was my first uh, Decepticon Seeker. So some close-ups, guys. If you haven't got this guy and you have the Starscream, I hear there's also going to be a special... Um, Skywarp coming out from Takara, so I'm sure it'll be expensive, but if you want the original trio, that's kind of cool. So all in all, I really like this guy. Um, I'm making it a habit now of opening my Transformers instead of leaving it in the package, so you'll see more reviews as time goes on for new stuff that I buy, but you're also going to see a lot of reviews of my older collection, uh, some cool and old stuff. So. Keep it tuned here for my Lego formers, for my reviews, and for all other toy and Lego goodness. We'll talk to you soon, everyone. Take care.